this is the last week of the Kokanee Mark Resite study. So we've spent three weeks out here in August seining up adult kokanee who are beginning their migration to the spawning grounds in the Metolius River. This is truly a collaborative effort on the part of Confederated Tribes of Warm Springs, ODFW, and PGE. Um, without all three entities involved in this project, it, it wouldn't happen as smoothly as it has over the last few years. The first part of this study today was collecting the adult kokanee, and that involved using a seine net. It was put out with a boat, and then a purse was created with the boat to capture the kokanee within the net. The net was pulled ashore, and then the kokanee were loaded into a transport boat. Great. They are transported upstream a few hundred yards where they are released into a Merwin trap for holding prior to tagging. There's three stations set up for Floyd tagging. So a Floyd tag is a, a T-bar tag. Basically the end of it looks like a T and then you have this final portion that is colored, which is the portion you're gonna see. So this tag will allow us to conduct our second phase of the study, which is the recite portion. These fish will retain these tags up to the spawning grounds. So when we see floy tags, we count the number of fish that we see with floy tags versus the number of fish that don't have floy tags. And then we can extrapolate a spawner abundance for the year. And so this information, we hope, will help us determine if the population is, is thriving in Lake Billy Chinook, that, that the kokanee population is still here, still thriving. Since the selective water withdrawal began in December of 2009, we've tried to take a landlocked kokanee and make it a sockeye. So we've captured hundreds of thousands of juvenile kokanee transported them downstream in hopes that they return as sockeye. And that has been successful. And there still is a healthy population of adult kokanee hanging out in the river in Lake Billy Chinook. <laughs>